Hello everybody, I am Blitz. Welcome back to the second episode of our hack and slash walkthrough series. Uh, this video contains massive spoilers, so if you are wary to those sort of things, go ahead and turn around right now, click off the video, continue going. If you would like to know how the puzzles work in this segment of the game, go ahead and keep watching. Uh, I will be clicking through, escaping out of the storyline so you don't have to watch or uh, get that spoiled. So if you would like to continue on, go ahead. This is fine. So we ended up in this room. There is a pile of hay and a bed. If we interact with the bed, we will go to sleep. As soon as we go to sleep, we get awakened by whatever this is, who you will see in a second. We pick up some hay, throw the hay in the bed, stuffs the hay in the bed, puts the hood down so it looks like somebody's sleeping. And then we talk to whatever is outside. Come out here. And we talk again. Central platform. And there it is. This is my cell. Welcome. So we now get the hat. And we can talk again. Go through everything. They're perfect. So we can walk through here. Get on this. Come down here. If we go off now, we can fall off. If not, uh, we can stay on here and walk anywhere we wanted to there. But if we put the hat on, whoops, put the hat on, platforms are moving through cyberspace or whatever. We need to go through these platforms, uh, just walking with WASD or the arrow keys. And the space actually brings the hat off and puts it on. Uh, that is the automatic location of it. We're going to go up to this next platform here, walk on up, and wait for the next platform to come down. Very simple, very straightforward. There it is. And we say goodbye to that guy. Thank you for the hat. We'll see you later. Or will we? So we're here in the beginning of Act 3. We escaped the dungeon and we are in another dungeon. Ah, wonderful. So if we put on the hat... Whoops, that's not the hat. If we put on the hat, we can see where all of these guys... Uh, where they see. We can pathfind through it or we can actually interact with them and cause a ruckus in the room. So let's do that. We're in a cause of ruckus. Actually, we can't because we don't have the sword anymore. They stole the sword. We need to go get that back. If we go through here, that'll trigger some more dialogue. The VAT password change and the blinky lights are gone. We head up to the left, trigger this other platform or other thing right here. Ordered the wrong swords. And the boomerangs are curved. They're all bent. Pathfind around them, and we're in the next room. This next room is the first of the main puzzles that we're going to get here. We hit spacebar, we can go through these. We want to hit the ones with the runes. Be very careful, those two in the middle, if I take the hat off, are already indented. We can go click this one, and this one. Uh-oh, I messed it up. So we need to run back down here, reset them, and do it again. It's just a little faster, and I have it memorized, so... Do that, and we'll click this one, and this one, and this one, and that'll bring up the chest. If we grab the chest, with E button, we get the time slowing thing. It slows time down. We can slow down time, so you can hear the music slow down and I walk a lot slower, or you can speed it up time too. Music gets a faster tempo, I can run a lot faster. Very interesting item. Let's keep it at zero for right now. And then come up here into the main hall of... No, this is not the main hall of the armory. That is coming up very soon. So this, uh, the time slowing device, is meant to slow down the fireballs, but you move slower too. So I'm just going to kind of go through it how I want to anyway. Oop, and right here we'll go through. <laughs> we still got hit. doesn't really matter because we have 62 hit points remaining. Um, that might be a bug in the future. That will be fixed, but uh, I don't know if it is a bug or a feature itself. So we put the hat back on. We can see more moving platforms. We're going to follow through with these. And these are actually like four or five. You can see there's a chest right there at the top of the screen. If I take off the hat, there's the chest. We are not going to be getting that in this walkthrough. I will show you where to get it and how to get it, uh, but it is not necessary. Probably next video is going to be where that comes in. So you'll have to stay tuned for that one. All right, we continue up here. And we enter this room. This is the main armory. This is where, where, well, this is the hallway to get to the main armory. Man, I'm bad at that, aren't I? 
There is nothing interesting in here. It reminds me of the, of the level in Super Mario Brothers in, I think it's World 5, where you just kind of run upstairs. So this is the main hall of the armory, finally. Continue straight up this white line to get a brand new sword. Go to the side of it and hit E, and another sword. Woohoo! And uh, let's rearrange our items real fast. Q button or escape brings this up. We can put uh, that on spacebar. We'll put the hat on four because that's where I like it. The time distortion, I'll put that on two for right now. And that is everything I need. I'm going to sneak by this guy real quick. You can see his pathfinding um, where he goes. And we're going to go up here and get into this room. This room, open the port with true. And it will close as soon as we get the boomerang. Hit E button to grab it. And there is no way to get out. We can't interact with it until we go over here. So let's uh, put the boomerang on one and then hit one. It'll bounce off the wall and we can open the port again. I'll show you this in a second. So you can actually see this is a triangle. We can use this triangle to bounce over and hit that port. So now that we have that, we are going to continue all the way over to the right. Yep, here you go. You go down. These are my favorite guys here, that whole line. You can reprogram these dudes here. We'll let him turn around and we'll do it. Oops. Uh, you can do all sorts of stuff with that and turn them good. It really doesn't matter. You can reprogram them to walk all around the room if you want to. What I like to do, you can see where their line is, and then I kind of do this. And then we can bring them down here. Uh-huh. And they're going to get interacting with this guy. He's going to show them that someone's friendly. They're going to kill each other. And we can kind of just run through here. It doesn't matter. Um, again, we have 64 hit points at this point in the game. They aren't going to do anything with us. And they will reset. So here's another dude standing guard. There's a couple ways to dispatch of him. My favorite way, instead of making him faction good, which is possible, you can do idle routine. And instead of idling and turning, instead of idling here... We are going to do it move, and then we're going to do the movement, and we're going to do like 11 blocks. He's going to turn all the way around, he's still happy, and then off he goes. <laughs> uh, I love that. So if I hit put the hat on, this takes on hat, and you can see two more moving platforms, one at the top and the bottom. The bottom one does not do anything. We can take the hat off now, and we are going to interact with it with using the USB drive. This is port 2. I want to set this to positive 50. If you can see on the bottom right how the middle tile, is, or the, the second smallest ring, is moving around. I put it way too far because I was explaining things. And we need to go to 50. So 50. Good. So that's 50. I'm going to escape out of that. And we'll hit this one. We want to put this one at 0, I believe. This is port 1 at 0. Okay, that's fine. And let's take the hat back out, get to the bottom edge of this platform, and as soon as we get down here to the main platform, we will come down and off of it. So this is where the uh, speed, the time speed thing comes in very, very handy. Uh, you can use this to speed up and down, make it faster, but you want to use that uh, boomerang to make it a lot faster. You want to use this boomerang to throw in and access the platform itself in there. We're getting around here and throw it right now. Perfect. I'm going to offset this to 100. You can see right over there the platform is moving down. This is a very cool hidden thing. Let's put that down to zero. I'm going to turn time back to regular and hit four so I can get back up on the hat. See where these platforms are and then we will walk across across the platform, and go into the next room where the next two puzzles reside. Alright, here we go. We are in the next room. Perfect. So, this is the next room in this one. Uh, there is another scroll. This scroll is the most helpful one, in my opinion, in the entire game. We are going to use this on two instead of the time change one. Change it over, and... Then we do two more things. So there are two puzzles, one to the left. And this one is one of the cooler ones in the game, in my opinion. 
So let's use this new item we got, the opacity, and we're going to bring this to 1. 1 will help us out. We can also use the slow time thing here if we wanted to. Not really important. Uh, what this is is a dial puzzle. So you use the dials to go around, and we'll slow it down. Oops. Well, we're going to bring it all the way around. I want You see that block that is white on the far outside ring? Let's go to it right now. This one right here, if I walk onto this one, the whole ring locks in. But, uh, where's the other one? If I go up to right here, you see how the the second ring, or the, the outside ring and the next ring are locked together. We need to go in the negative direction to bring these apart. So, if I hit this, I can go negative, and that didn't work. Let's bring this around to the other side. And let's bring it all the way around, because I messed it up again. Alright, now we're going to go positive. We're going to bring it backwards. Bring the whole ring backwards. And we'll slow it down here in a second. Okay, slow it down and get ready to lock it right now. And go... Oh, I messed it up. And we're going to have to reset it over here. I like to put it on the sides and the corners. Man, I'm bad at this. It gets uh, very fidgety. Or, I'm very fidgety. Okay, that's good enough. Let's go negative now. We'll bring this all the way back around. See, it's too slow for me, and then it's too fast, too. Okay, dial speed. We're just going to go on negative one speed. Perfect. Now let's go positive one. This will bring the dial back all the way around again. Wonderful. And we will lock this in right now. And we need to go back another one and bring the final box back. And we can walk across this. Sometimes you do fall through here even though everything's in line. It just happens. And then we can hit E to get the thing from the next thing. <laughs> uh, we don't need to look at it right now. We will as soon as we get this second. Well, we don't need to get it right now either. Um, We'll wait until we get to the next puzzle after the Holicon puzzle. Okay, this one looks very intimidating. So what happens is there are wavelengths. If you walk into these lasers, you get damaged. You can't get through them at all. So what we need to do is access the vent on the side. We're going to move this wavelength to 675. 675 is a very, very good number for this because we can walk through and... Uh, this laser right close to us will disappear. This will actually work fairly fine. I'm going to move to 675 for the sake because I set it. We're going to walk over here, use the boomerang to throw back, bounces off the wall, and we're going to drop this down to 600. And there it is. So what we want to do, I guess the 600 would work exactly. Uh, 675 and 600, you can see here we walk all the way around because this coffin or whatever it is blocks both rings. Let's grab the magic lamp off of it, come back down here, move up as close as we can to this, throw the boomerang like that, and move this back up to 675. I kind of messed that up. Hopefully it still works. Okay, we're good. And then we can exit as soon as that beam goes away. Wonderful! Alright, let's keep going down here. Let's exit out of this. And we're going to go back through the main hall of the armory as soon as we can. <laughs> that guy targeted us and walked off. Perfect. So this goes down. And you come down. Goes back to the middle and then down all the way. We can exit and go off to the left. I do still have the opacity up. It doesn't really matter. If you want to turn it off, you can. I kind of like to see what happens. So I'm going to turn this guy on to do a lot of damage, so he's going to be good, and then we're going to take this to movement, and we're going to move him a long way. He's going to aggro these guys as soon as he walks out of the way, and then we can walk up directly behind them. It's kind of fun also to change these guys. Because <laughs> they, they're in a chain now. <laughs> he's going to stab this guy in the back. And they just get a whole big mess of the people attacking each other. And I could turn this guy bad again. Oh, maybe not. Doesn't really matter. But we need to go all the way to the left. This guy moved out of the way perfectly for us. 
all the way to the left, and there is the next room with the next puzzle on it. So we'll take care of this one. This next puzzle is pretty cool too. Um, this one is the music of the game. So you can see there's a different rune on this block. And you can make all sorts of music by playing on a little piano. Uh, if you do walk on here and press E, it says, what are these glyphs? There's what I've been seeing. And the little guy will say, yeah, we need a key for it. So what we do is we walk in order of when the rune changes. And it just so happens to be down, up, and then the last one here. So just make sure the rune has changed before you walk onto it. Because there can be problems with that. And then we can come over here. So this next one, I'm going to turn the opacity all the way off. Just so we can see. These two need to be offset to zero. Both of them to zero. To zero. Ah, we can see words coming up. And we can offset this to zero as well. And there it is. The five boxing wizards jump quickly. We can move over here and hit E on this map. And we will transcribe these ciphers. So now everything that we have, uh, including everything in the opacity, have a name on them. So guys, that is where I'm going to leave off this episode. Uh, next episode, we will continue on, escape the castle, and uh, head up somewhere else. So guys, I hope these puzzles have helped you nicely. Uh, you can see, too, all of these things have names now. Block, reflection, block, guards, all the guards are named. I'm going to come right back here, and we will start the next episode right here. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please subscribe and like. And always remember, keep your stick on the ice. See you later.